It's hot out here. I don't like it. I'm gonna try to go up into this uh, subway and try to get me, try to steal me some uh, ice. So, we got people waiting on my bus, waiting for me. They gonna be waiting a little bit. I'm thirsty. I just want some ice, I need some ice. So I just went to a subway here and they were nice enough to let me get some ice. I'm thankful. It is hot out here today. Man. I would stay in the house if it was this hot. People trying to take the bus, trying to get where they need to be, I would be in the house. Wouldn't do it. Not today. Whew, man, this is probably the hottest summer ever reported on in Minnesota. I, I don't know why, but I enjoy it. And today, it's just a hot day today. It's not humid and people are not, you're not suffering today. Usually, must be running out of videotape here. Like and subscribe. Show me some love on the channel. Comment. Don't feel like a stranger. Here we go. Appreciate it. Lady's about to run me over. <laughs> now I usually don't let people in my bus, especially right right time because it's not time for me, you know, I'm on my break. But right now, since it's so hot right now, I think I will let people in so they can cool off. I got the AC running. This that would just be passenger abuse if I didn't show people love. They're out there waiting, so that's what I'll end up doing here. Letting these fine folks in here so they don't fry and die. You know what I hate? I absolutely hate when people come to my bus and ask me if I know when another bus or I know the ask me for another bus to schedule or ask me what time the next bus comes for another bus. No, I don't know. I'm not running that route and I don't have schedules for a bus that I do not drive. Stop asking bus drivers for other bus schedules or the times for the next bus of another bus. We don't know. That's not our business, it's not a concern. My route is my route. I don't know anybody else's route, sorry. Just bugs me to high head. So people, I just dang near had a riot break out on my bus because of the Olympics. Now, I understand that everybody's all happy about the Olympics and everything that's going on. and It's great, and but you have to use discernment if you are a male and you are talking about young athletes, young female athletes. Especially when you are on the bus, public transportation, with a bunch of women that have children that age or they're all mothers getting off the bus, you know, coming from work at this time. To have a conversation, you being your mid-twenties, early thirties, and talk about the Hernandez girl, uh, the gymnast, talking about she's the human emoji, which that's true, but then turn around and say, she's spicy, sexy, and you would like to get your hands on her to do extracurricular activity, absurd things. You can't do that on a bus filled with women, with children. Man, a riot, dang near, but broke out on my bus because dirty old men are talking nasty or 
talking about doing things to an underage female. 16, bro. She's 16. Keep them nasty thoughts to yourself before you get killed by a bunch of old, by a bunch of women, period. I mean, I have all types of moms going in on this cat, which she deserved because the comments were stupid, not thought out, and just plain sick. Fam, 16, don't do it. Public transportation. There's a time and place for everything. That is neither the time or place. People.